It finally happened. The Bears traded quarterback Justin Fields to the Pittsburgh Steelers for a conditional 2025 sixth-round pick. That pick becomes a fourth-rounder if Justin Fields plays more than 51% of the snaps with a team that just added Russell Wilson a week ago. Your thoughts. Congrats, Caleb Williams. You are a Chicago Bear. I'm... I was a little surprised by this. Mm. Uh, I I thought they were going to end up holding on to him and and getting Marvin Harrison Jr. with that first pick or maybe trading it uh, with the Patriots and getting Marvin Harrison Jr. at at the third pick. If I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan right now, I just got the best of both worlds, Mm -hmm. right? I got rid rid of Kenny Pickett. Who, you know, there's rumors he didn't want to compete with Russell Wilson. You know, I'm not in the facility, so I'm not going to say whether that's true or not. But I got the old head, Russell Wilson, for $1.2 million. All right, pennies on the dollar. And then I got the young buck, Justin Fields. You know, if it doesn't work out with Russell, let's throw him in there. Worst case, he sits behind Russell and gets ready as Russell swan songs his way out of here. I feel like the Steelers may have won free agency, man. And you only got, you got Russell Wilson for $1.2 million. And you got Justin Fields for a sixth round, sixth round pick that may be a fourth round pick in 2025 if he plays more. And Patrick Queen? Damn, dog. Like, if I'm Pittsburgh, there's a reason these cats make the playoff every year. But, I mean, all right, Bears, you better be right about Caleb. You better be right. Better be right. Your thoughts, Blaine? Well, I mean, you know, the more I look at this, I think Justin Fields is a lot worth more than a lot than a fourth round. Conditional fourth round or sixth round. I really do. I think Justin Fields will end up being the starter at the Steelers. Um, I don't think Russell will make it halfway through the season. Uh, they'll tear that place down before they, they let Russell start a full season in Pittsburgh. But I'm looking more at the Bears than I am in the Steelers. Um, you're drafting Caleb Williams. I think we all know that now. Yep. You get Keenan Allen for like a fifth round pick. You got DJ Moore, you got DeAndre Swift, and now you have Cole Komet. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty damn good skill position group on offense. worry about offensive yeah. line. That is true, um, which they have gotten a little bit better up front. They weren't as bad last year, and the defense played really good slating toward the end of the season. So if Caleb Williams, he's not, I don't think he's going to come out his first year and just be the, the all-apparent. Uh, I don't think he is. But if you can build with Caleb, you're starting to put together a roster that's not only young, but it's good. And if you can keep most of these guys here, I think Chicago may be actually be able to do something in the next two years. That's significant. Right. Well, it's, it's going to come down whether you hit on Caleb Williams. That's it. Yeah, and look, he's not. he may not come in and be great right away. He's going to be a rookie quarterback. But it, it, to win this trade, you don't need him to be great. Can he just be a top 10 quarterback yeah. at some point in his career? The Bears it's haven't a, even had that. It's not a know? skill level thing with Caleb, right? It's how, how can Caleb face adversity? Yeah, and a couple things you said there that I want to touch on. So you think Justin Fields will be the starter halfway through the year I do. with Russell Wilson. I think the fact that the Steelers are paying Russell Wilson $1.2 million and Denver still paying most of his salary will mean the, the leash will be shorter. Right, like in that division, especially where the defenses are so good, you're having to play the Ravens, you're having to play the Browns, all of them twice a year. If it's going bad early, I agree with Blaine. They're not going to stick around with Russell Wilson. On the fact that Justin Fields is worth more than a six round pick, that's the first thing I thought when I first saw this trade. Then I started to evaluate it against the other trades that we saw. Mac Jones going down to Jacksonville, what Kenny Pickett had gone for. All these guys had several, several year sample size. One thing to keep in mind a lot of these guys had two years left on their deal. So when you see one quarterback who you think clearly is better than Justin Fields going for a third-round pick, Justin Fields has had one year left on his deal. The Steelers are taking that into account when mm-hmm. they bring him over for this conditional pick. So it kind of started to look like market rate to me a little bit more. But you guys are right. I mean, this is Caleb Williams is going to be the number one pick. Well, so. yeah, does does it does clear things up. If you're a, a Bears fan, are you kind of rooting for Justin Fields a little bit just to play enough? Just to play enough. Oh, so that, you get that, a fourth round. Look, that but, look in a fourth Bears round. fans not going to come in and sit and act like they're not hurt. Fields is gone. They are. Bears, I think Bears fan believed in Justin. He was the 11th pick. Yeah. No one wanted, here, here's another thing though. No one wanted it to work more than the than the Bears did though. Because think about what you could have done. You could have taken the guy you've invested in and believed in at 11, moved back off this first number one overall pick and gotten two first, two seconds, maybe even a fourth. They wanted it to work. I think they knew by Thanksgiving, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, well, sometimes when you make your mind up, I mean, it just, it, it is what it is. We'll see. That's the great part about it. But at least it does clear up the top of the draft a little bit because it was looking, you know, we were wondering what the Bears were going to do with that first pick. I mean, there's no way you trade it now. Yeah. Now Marvin Harrison Jr., 
gets more and more interesting. Yeah, that is Because who's in play for him now? Or as a team, the Vikings are positioning themselves to go make a, a run. I know we're going to dissect all of this, but, you know, who wants to move off those first couple picks? Who wants to move up? We'll be breaking it down, uh, you know, the entire spring here. All right, YouTube, it's here. It's March Madness. We're going to 100 trillion subscribers. Hopefully we get there by the end of the month. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do it. Uh, and tell somebody else to do it because that's just an American thing to do. And you may win your bracket because of it.